everyone. Have you ever wonder how to create AI animation video like this? Today I am going to show you how to create your own animation using Stable Diffusion. By animated another video to AI video, well, not really the fun part, and we are also using Root Faces Swap the character in the animation video to the face that you desired? Maybe your ex? Or the artist you like? Well, let's find out. Hello guys, today we are going to show you how to create animation AI video by using the Roop Face Swap extension, Control Net, and Absinthe Utility in Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11. Now, the way of creating video like this, we are able to replace the face of the main character in the video. Also using Control Net to change the background, outfit, or theme, the whole theme style that looks totally different from the source video that we are using. For example, like this short video in this tutorial we are using. And we are going to use Rev Animated Checkpoint to change the style into Animate Cartoon. And then I am using Ruop Faces Swap extension to change the dancing character to Nancy. Now, I am not going to example so detailed steps of Absinthe Utility extension in this tutorial, you can check out the previous tutorial for full explain about Absinthe Utility, and this time I am applying the same FPS rate as the source video so I can get the detail movement for the AI video animation. I am using 60 FPS, and for this 18 seconds video, it generated 1125 frames. That means the AI are going to handle 1125 images in this process. Now here's the fun part for this tutorial. We are going to change the style in image to image batch generation. In steps, we are going to enable two control net processors. The first one I will use open pose and remember to check pixel perfect. And I'm going to apply control net is more important. For the second control net processors, we are going to enable set pixel perfect as well. Then choose canny processor. Then we will use one of the frame image extracted from the source video and start play around with the style until we get what we expected. Now in the text prompt, I'm using neon light pink t-shirt and mini skirt. We have to enable Roop extension as well for face swap. In this tutorial example, I am using the AI girl Nancy's image for face swap. Let's generate again and see. Okay, I think this one is pretty good for the dancing short video that I am going to generate. So we are going to use the same seed number of this image and switch to batch image to image. It's going to take a while for this process, so be patient. In the meanwhile, you can see the generated images for each frame in the frames folder. Now, we will have to upscale this. There are 1200 images that I have to upscale in this step. And I am going to use batch upscale. Copy the image to image frames folders path in input directory and create another upscale folder for output directory. Just follow the instruction in Absinthe Utility Stage 4 and set the width and height for upscale images as well. I am using 4x Ultra Sharp for the upscaler. Click Generate. Then you can go do something else. Don't touch anything here until upscaling finish. After upscale done, 
you will have all frames of upscaled images in the IMG2 IMG upscale key folder. Stage 5, let the extension rename those files and generate Absinthe project files for you. And man, there's 74 Absinthe project files in this one since I am using 60 FPS. Don't worry, I am not going to make you bored. Watch me process all 74 Absinthe files. For this tutorial, I just made 300 frame of images for demo purpose. And uh, the full length of this 18 second dance animation video will be uploaded to my channel YouTube Shorts soon. So, once the animation video generated in stage 7, we can take a look at the result. Not bad at all, right? So, yes, the full length for this dance animation I will upload on Shorts soon. You can check it out later. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please click that button and turn on the bell. So you will be noticed once we have this animation upload. And I will upload more animation and fun stuffs like this. So that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys do get some inspiration of combining different extension together and make your own animations. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.